Okay. Alright, we're filming. And that's what I've said to you, Russell, all yeah. along. No. From the very beginning. No, that's what I've been saying. Don't you understand? No, Don't I you do. understand what this is like? I do for me, for you, I do. for mom. For mom. Think about mom. For think America. about her for a minute. America. Think about think about what it's like for her. Look at this. This is what, what? I think of it. What? What do you think of it, Russell? Me. What do you think? It's always been like this for you, hasn't it? It's always been like this. It's always been like this for you. It's always been like this for you. It's always been like this. Don't you understand? I do understand. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? Come on. Come on. Russell, no, come on. Come on. Come on. Come Russell, on. Please. Now look, let's talk seriously. Come on. Long silence. No Long silence. Now you listen to me. No! Don't me. interrupt me! No, I, don't I, interrupt no, me! I do, I am, you I don't understand me! Yeah! Listen to me, Russell. Listen to me. I need you to listen to me, okay? I've heard everything you have to say. It can't be like this anymore, okay? It is! It I can't be like this. Alright? Sit down. Let, let, let's... Oh, I am. Let's see if we can figure this uh, out, okay? We stand in on listen to me, okay? You, 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 you can't be like this anymore, Russell. It, it, it has to be. It, you can't stay here anymore. Look at this place. Look at this place. It's falling down around your ears. You do. So you can't live here anymore. If you want me to clean it up, it's not just about cleaning it up. It's about the the house is falling down. It's, it, it's the the plumbing is busted upstairs. The basement floods. You can't be here anymore. Look here. You can clean it up. No, listen to me, Russell. Listen. Listen. No, I'm listening. But I'll you can't take care of mom. She's gonna end up getting hurt again. No, and then what? That was. That was no, I was. What? That was my fault. I'm sorry. What? Well, but look, if you want to go do your lawyer thing, go be a lawyer. I just can't go come out here. Anymore. I can't be coming out here every every two months. Then don't. I want to. I want to help you though. Talking about I need to be with your family. Then help you with your family. That's fine. But I, I, I don't trust that the two of you can stay here together. Why? Because because of what happened to mom and, and what happened to you and this place and the way it looks. Why don't we sell this house? We don't care. We walk here. Come on. Does that really matter? No, it doesn't. All right. It's a fancy new apartment. It's a big fucking city. Hold on a second. Are you okay, Connor? Hello?
are you going to do? <laughs> Not now. Not now what? <laughs> Nothing. Look. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. Can you stay here and, and, and clean this place up? Um, we're going to have a funeral. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fight you on the house, okay?
start, um, we at Shallow Spring do things a little bit differently. Um, we like to start any sort of process where we're going to be sharing, we're going to be talking to one another, with a little bit of an exercise that we call um, noticing the space. So if you just bear with us, go with us for this. I know it's weird. Um, we just want to take a moment to notice the space, get comfortable um, in, in our environment right now. So if you could all just, for me, just turn to the person next to you and look them in the eyes. No, not that person. You came here with that person. Turn to the other person and just say to them, hey, I don't know you, but I sure would like to. Great, great. Now, uh, now turn, back, turn back to the person you came here with uh, and say, say, hey, I know you. I know you. We're friends. We're friends. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I want I want everyone to turn inward. And say, hey. Hey. It's a mess in here. I'm gonna get somebody to come clean this up. And, and now, if you could all just turn and face Megan in the booth up there, our stage man, just face Megan and just say. Hey! Hey! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? And turn around. <laughs> wow! Surprise! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel like we've uh, sufficiently noticed the space here. So, uh, good. Uh, you, you guys are, I'm so glad you all decided to stay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a moment now and um, I'm going to moderate a little bit of a discussion between us. Um, I prepared some questions backstage for these guys um, during the show. And then we're gonna, we have some questions for you about the piece, because we are developing it. We're hoping to take it to other places. Um, we're hoping to take it to New York. Um, we, we don't have a venue there yet, but if anybody has a venue, uh, just let us know afterwards. And then um, we're going to open it up for questions or comments, anything that you want to uh, ask about the show or, or comment, anything. So um, I guess we'll just jump right on in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, these questions that I prepared backstage. Um, Great, okay, so let's start. Um, uh, question number one. Our company is known for our, dy our, our dynamic approaches to theater making. Can you tell me about the process we use in creating a show like Prodigal Father? Uh, Brad? Uh, process? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> process. <laughs> you know, other theater companies will, they'll want to do a play, and they'll find a play, and they'll, they'll do, maybe they'll do a reading of it, and they're like, you know what, we should actually do this. So then they have like fundraisers, and like hoagie drives, and like <laughs> car washes, and they get all this money, and they get these actors, and they cast the actors sometimes, and they, they rehearse the play. They rehearse it, they rehearse it, and then they open the show. And then the show uh, runs. It runs for a bit, and then it closes. <laughs> and then they're like, I hope people enjoy that. <laughs> Our process is nothing like that. It's nothing like that. We. We create the play right off the bat. And then we say to ourselves, does anyone want to see this? <laughs> and that's kind of like, that's, I mean, that's, that's one way that we're different. We also have Eric. Eric is a, like a thing that we use in the room. Uh, everyone remains in character. Uh, it's pretty simple, it sounds simple, but it's, it, can be, it can get ugly. You know, when people are going home at night, Brad cuts himself, he has to go to the hospital, we remain in character. So you go to the hospital as the second Brad merchant. And that's just the deal. Uh, what else? Oh, Cindy. Um, we have a permanent understudy. What does that mean? It means that she is not part of the core ensemble, but she's expected to go on every night. You know, is she, uh, is she uh, you know, Equal to the three of us? No. <laughs> but, you know, do we put a lot of pressure on her to be good and 
Go on every night? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Good. <laughs> um, great. Uh, okay, so my, my second question is, um, Prodigal Father is a dynamic and layered journey of discovery, loss, love, dying, questioning, passion, embraces, and passionate embraces. Can you tell us what inspired this show or and or where do you get your ideas from? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, so as, uh, as Dave kind of kind of mentioned, uh, we have this uh, methodology called Eric, which is elsewhere reality improv communication, and that's, that's usually how we we start our shows. That's usually how we approach a new process. We'll start with Eric, but this time, you know, seven shows in, we're like, let's put Eric on the shelf and let's let's actually find a good idea first. Um, so let's find something that we're interested in. Uh, so I was really interested in relationships with dads, um, and Justin was really interested in oh, um, ghosts. <laughs> and, and Dave, Dave wasn't interested in anything, and he still isn't. You know? <laughs> so we said, okay, well we have these two touchstones. Let's start with the touchstones and apply Eric to that. And you know what we found? Every first idea was a good idea. And so when you came in here today at 2 p.m., Every scene were these first ideas that were so potent, so brilliant, so so luminescent, and so so just potent. So you came in and it was potent, 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 and then intermission, and then you came back and it was potent, 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 potent. Second intermission, and then you came back from that and it was potent. on a dinner break, and then you came back and it was potent, 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 and then it ended, and it ended, it ended just now, and we're all still vibrating from all that live theater. <laughs> Question. I'll go ahead and answer because we get this asked a lot after the shows. It's what is the story behind your theater company? Um, so, as everybody knows, we are Shallow Scream Ensemble Theater Collective. Um, we, our mission is to make work that is in your face and in your heart. Um, and one of the tenets that we use to, to uh, implement that is we stand by the fact that everyone rapidly in collaboration is the way to go, or Eric for short. And, uh, our seventh show to date. Um, we've toured all over the nation, like all over the nation. Um, and so again, Prodigal Father is our seventh show. It is still in development, so your feedback t tonight is going to be helpful in the next iteration of that. Um, uh, where did we meet? Um, we met at Elizabethan University. Go, go, go Rams! Um, and so uh, we've been, we met in senior year, and uh, we've been collaborating, we've been friends ever since. Um, so I'm really glad to kind of be working with these guys for that long. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and start with our, our, our discussion. Um, and I just want to try something uh, a little bit different. So uh, Aunt Bogart taught me this thing, and this is this way of feedback. Um, I trained with her uh, a couple times. But um, so I want to go ahead and just, it's, this is called popcorning. So I want everybody to just now reflect back on the whole piece you saw. So since 2 p.m. you came in those doors, you've been here, a lot of, a lot has transpired up here. I want you to just think about um, the show, maybe a line, maybe an image, maybe um, something that struck you, an emotion. And in one word, or just whatever you want to say, just go ahead and say it out loud on your own time. You can begin.
can do a nice ending. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we uh, so we got all that. Or I'm capturing. Are you capturing? You're not capturing. I'm capturing. That was no, bad tonight. Ah, okay. I didn't know it was. No, 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 no. It's cool. Uh, I got it. Tell you, I got it. Tell you what, uh, if you uh, if you just shouted a word uh, and you know who you are, uh, just uh, just shout it again. You don't even have to wait for anybody. Just uh, just maybe on three, like three, two, one. Oh, my God. Hi, you're good. Yeah. Um, cool. Can I do my bird? Can I? Can I do my burning question? Uh, so every uh, night I have a burning question. Uh, tonight's is uh, about direct address, audience address. It can be really intense for some people. It's right up there with puppets. You either or you don't. Uh, so for you know. When I'm in these dreamscape sequences and I'm talking to the audience, I just wonder, you know, is it is it too intense? Is it not intense enough? Yes or no? Just show of hands. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm uh, Okay, so let's get let's really get down to the nuts and bolts here. Um, let's just start really simply. Uh, just let's go with things you liked. Things you enjoyed about the show. Uh, scenes, costumes, design, whatever it is that you enjoyed about the show. Um, we'd love to hear from you. This is some important stuff. Yeah. Scenes, costumes, and please, design. Please raise your hands. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. I like the scenes, the costumes, and the design. Great. 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 So like a holistic. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So put down everything. Um, yeah. Just the use of language. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, over here. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that Cindy did. Great. Yeah. Give yeah. it up for Cindy again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else that people, people liked? Uh, yeah. Get in here. I really like the star balloon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, what, what else? What else did you Yeah, yeah. I was very moved by the demon camels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the second, uh, it's funny, not a lot of people notice that. <laughs> so let's go now, let's uh, let's go with, let's get down to it. Uh, let's go with, what didn't you like? What, um, what didn't you like? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I didn't like the scenes, the costume designs, or anything like that. <laughs> sure. Okay, great. Great, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Nudity was gratuitous. <laughs> that's 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 rough coming from the person who who was naked. Um, that's, 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 criticism not necessarily constructive. Criticism. I'm sorry, Brad. I, I actually would agree with you. Say that comment. I'm sorry. Um, I would actually agree with that. The nudity. I'm sorry. Just, I wasn't. I wasn't the floor. Um, and you know, I'd like to talk a little bit about Justin's performance. Um, on a scale of one to ten. That was true. That's really. On a scale of one to ten. Really rude question. One to ten. Where are we going? Four. Are you going to ask that mean question and have them do those mean things? <laughs> no. Are you going to keep? Are you going to ask that question? What are you guys over there talking about? No. <laughs> Can I trust you with that? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry everybody. I'm really sorry you have to see that. Um, okay, okay. Uh, go ahead and open it up for questions or comments from you all. Anything in the show that you have a question about, you want to know more about, you have a comment, anything. Go ahead and raise your hand and we'll call on you. Sure. Like, sure. And yeah, I want to know more about your fathers. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really interesting because um, we do use a lot of our personal stories in the show, um, and we did a lot of like talking about fathers, in fact. 
And, um, you know, my dad, I, I'm first generation Filipino, and like, blah, 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 that whole story. Um, <laughs> Your, your particular dad memory was helpful in creating Russell's character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, yeah. No, no, it's uh, no, it's not as personal as it might have seemed in rehearsal. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, you know, the show's called Prodigal Father, uh, and we started talking about dads. And my dad and I don't have the best relationship, you know, I'm not, you know, first generation anything. Um, and, you know, I, I think the, you know, what started with, uh, you know, all the merchants and stuff actually came from uh, something I told you guys about the being on vacation. Uh, and my dad's one of those people that never, like, once my dad is driving, you do not ask to stop, to pull over, to eat, to anything because dad's making good time. <laughs> and he, uh, we were, I think we were on our way to Myrtle Beach or something, and he, uh, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't pull over. I couldn't get him to stop. I had to go. Finally, uh, he pulls over. I jump out. I run in. At this point, it's like the most glorious bathroom I've ever seen. It's, you know, there's just urinals everywhere. I can't even choose. And I, uh, I'm going to the bathroom, and I hear someone uh, come in behind me, and it's my dad. And as he walks behind me, he, he pushes me into the urinal <laughs> so that the front of my pants get all wet. And he says, now it looks like you pissed yourself. <laughs> My therapist is convinced that that is where we separated emotionally. And he also thinks that, well, this, this new meds that I'm on is going to kind of like put me back where I need to be, put for shallow screen and in my, uh, you know, normal life. But it's that kind of meds, you know, where you like, you take some and then you wait a bit. Because it's got to like get into your system. So, you know, my wife's like, is it working? And my doctor's like, is it working? And I'm like, <laughs> and who knows, you know, maybe like in two weeks you gotta take some more meds. But it's all, you know, it's coming at the same time when this is like, oh, let's get a new dog, album's dropping, you know, and <laughs> so many, so many, if you bring something with a, the, the visceral, that intent into the rehearsal, a, uh, I think what uh, yeah, I think what Dave's trying to say is that like our our fathers are very are, like really connected to us, and that's why we brought them to the table for this. I hope that answered your question. Um, <laughs> any, um, any more questions or comments? Go ahead and raise your hand. Sure. Um, sure. Let's go. Let's go over here. Uh, we we passed this. Yeah, I was just amazed. How did you guys learn all those lines? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> were inspired by William Shakespeare's uh, Merchant of Venice? Yeah. And if so, what are the cultural implications of that in the world? Of sure. Yeah. yeah. We, get that, we get that a lot. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> um, I guess maybe uh, subconsciously. Not intentionally, not, not purposefully. Uh, sort of yeah, subconsciously, I think maybe they weren't. But I'm glad. I'm really glad that you picked up on Shakespeare in there because a lot of playwrights inspired the, sh the work you saw today, like from our work at Elizabeth University. Like Ibsen's on here, um, Williams is up here, uh, Miller, Coltrane, Coltrane. Yeah. Uh, from all, I mean, they're all every every voice. 
here is in this work, and I and I wrote that that red for all of you as well. Yeah. Um, go ahead, and take some more questions or comments. Yes. Uh, do you think? I don't think seven hours was long enough. I mean, do you think you're going to try and expand it? I mean, it was only six hours, but um, <laughs> we. If you think it needs to be longer, then we will expand it for the New York production. Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Go another hour. Yeah. <laughs> Another question or comment? Yes, yes. Yeah, your mother was such a sweet woman. Um, I was so <laughs> moved by her death. And uh, do you think there was any foul play involved? In, in, it seems strange. It was so That's sure. uh, Are you referring to the play of my personal life? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that one's really difficult to answer without Cindy here because she played the doctor at the death of the mother. Um, but I think what you're touching upon is this relationship. Um, when I played the mother, of course, when I played the mother, um, there's, there's that moment when you know you see mom, and then right afterwards you see dad, and then you understand exactly the. Um, the, the relationship that's going on between the two characters, especially when he's... Look, I'm sorry, okay? Well, the door's you closed, were... it's closed. I know, I'm, 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 left it open. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't think you were in there, and I, I just... I... Dad? Dad? What's up again? Dad?
I mean, sure, it happened before, but I'd only seen pictures. <laughs> I think it was at that moment that I realized, that I realized Leonard and I would never see eye to eye when it came to my Before she's sick, and, that, and when the first scene, you're like, 
Hey, Russell. Yeah. Bob, maybe you should sit down. I will. And I found this, too, from a oh, physical warm-up. Just like I like sliding in. <laughs> great, great. Uh, so let's take a, a couple more questions. Um, yeah, more comments or, yeah, right. yeah, right here. I just want to know where the money comes from. Like, how do you guys support yourselves and this your full time? Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, uh, Justin, you want to talk a little bit about where the, where the money comes from? Um, there's not really money. Dave mentioned the, the hoagie sale. Yeah, we sold whole yeah. more hoagies, um, and we we did the um, the breast cancer awareness drive, and sort of kept the money from that. <laughs> we, like our savings accounts, basically, are in our checking accounts. Yeah, yeah. Our, our our relatives mostly don't don't answer emails or letters from us anymore. Because, like, Usually we well, we have a Kickstarter. We're doing a Kickstarter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's it's $50,000. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And it's for it's for one of the puppets of oh, the show. Yeah, oh, well, it's the subconscious yeah. of, of, of yeah. Russell. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's just for that puppet. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's 50 grand that we're raising. So if, yeah, anyone wants to donate, just visit our Kickstarter page. Um, yeah. Great. Yeah, and uh, and it closes tomorrow. So great. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, let's just take another question or comment. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, sir. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering. Uh, uh -huh. like, are you a professional actor? Uh, yeah, I, I'm in the union, and uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, but do you? Oh, awesome. I, I. Yeah. Question. I agree with him. Like, I, so do you make money from this? <laughs> um. Not really. <laughs> no. So, so you're not a professional. Oh. No, no, I, I'm, uh, I'm in the professional um, union of actors uh, uh, equity, uh, and I do shows like I'll do a show and then there'll be like a slow time, and then I'll do another show and another slow. So yeah. Yes, you, sir. So you, so you, did you only make money from acting? Uh, um, no, I do some other stuff too. I'm a teaching artist. I teach playwriting, um, and I also um, am. I just got a job as a fake patient, and I do this <laughs> with constitutional, like elect a constitutional lecture, and that, those are like in between contracts and sort of. Huh. Thing. So do you have like? Are you living with someone that is healthy? Supplement your income? Um, no, no, my 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 boyfriend. He's also self-employed, and uh, there's like a lot of debt around it. So neither of us really have. What do you, what, um, I'm sorry. What do your parents think of this? <laughs> um, I mean, they're 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 when they come to the shows, they're like, we're really proud of you. Great job. We're really proud of you. And then like two hours, we'll go to the bar afterwards, or like at my house, and then they'll just be like. So, what are you thinking about going to grad school, or like, when are you going to get a real job, or uh, that sort of thing? So what is like the finish line, though? I guess like, is there, uh, you know, <laughs> sort of like retirement or like something like that? I mean, I'm not really. I don't have a retirement plan. Or How like, much do you make, uh, like, in a year? Um, like last year I made like twenty-three thousand dollars. Oh wow, that's I mean that's below the poverty line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean. I have a lot of like. Yeah. What? What? I'm, I'm sorry. What are you? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I really like the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you like the show. Um, uh, yeah, you can join our Facebook page, our Twitter. You can follow us. Um, visit our website, all of those things. Instagram, we're all on there. So thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Great, thanks. Um, yeah, you want to go and take another question? Sure, sure. Let's uh, let's take another question, why don't we? Um, yeah, anybody has another, another question? Uh, yeah, sure, back here. Yeah, sure. Here, I can come in here. There you go. Very dramatic, very well done. Uh, I just wanted to know, when you did the Nietzsche interpretation, uh, why did it suddenly have a slapstick? Mm. You know, I I really believe that the slapstick adds a lot to that moment because in the heat of this, it's, you know, so, something so serious. Well, I was we, like, we need to put in the slapstick moment. Well, where I, I slapped I, Russell. I was the front runner on the slapstick. <laughs> that was my idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my idea. When it comes to slapstick, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no. I'm answering the question, so that we're right. I know. I know. Where I came up with the idea first, right in rehearsal. Right, right. We were. Will you stop interrupting me? Huh? I'm sorry. Answering so no, so, Dave, stop it! You always do it to Dave. You're always interrupting me. I have an idea. And this is so 
Steamrolling state's right. Steamrolling. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about this after the meeting. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. We'll talk about this after the meeting. Can you believe it? What? No. It's tonight. It's after the meeting. Guys, 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 guys,